Thank you for getting me here. Jack is a great guy. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. I've never been so happy in my entire life. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Bye. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Really? So we may see our dream of
You're back. I have res because you're a friend of the fall.
Take care. You're back. All right. All right. The Optics Enhancer, as the name suggests, gets attached directly to your optic nerve. The price is 4,000 caps. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in Outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us.
I'm happy you came along. You were the answer to our dreams. Really? So we may see our dream of flight soon? Idle thumbs tend to get blown off around here. Get moving. Morning. Keep your head down, outsider. I'm happy you came along. You are the answer to our Sorry. dreams. Sorry. No time to talk, really? outsider. So we'll we see our dream of flight soon. Really? So we may see our Welcome dream back. of flight soon? We may see the super fortress built in my lifetime. I'd keep moving You've if earned I was our you. trust. Now let's see if you can earn our gratitude. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Bye!
Nelson's back in our hands. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. All right then, just sign here, here. More than you already have. Sir. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Take care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. Background? Take a look. Fine then. 
Hey. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. That... that's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago. And that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Hello. Throw some whiskey in the mix, and I'm game. Line the bottles up. I'm ready. Let's deal. free of the outpost. Was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Caught word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Ask him then. Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of mom's tribal necklaces, but no, came from dad. You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got them out west, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. 
Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Dynamites for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twister's out of the divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. All right then. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle.
God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. The least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Yeah, it's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? All right then, let's move out. Hey there. See ya. I'll believe that the fiends are gone when they stop their rip. Welcome back.
Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Of course. Which one? The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Thank you. Most merchant companies, successful merchant companies rather, have them. It can be inconvenient to replace employees on short notice. The contracts keep employees around for a specific duration of time after which they get paid, after their upkeep and expenses are deducted, of course. Food, water, living quarters, medicine and clothes, just the basic stuff. It all comes out of the company's coffers. Yes, and they have been for decades now. The hired hands know what they're signing up for. We don't hide anything with fancy talk. That's because we are. We always pay up when the contract ends, though. Won't stay in business long if you've got a reputation as a cheat. All right. It's been... More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage.
What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. All right, then. Hello. You're back. Because you... Hey there. I can't believe this shit. Get lost. Another caravan burned, except someone made camp here, and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks.
Let's see what you got. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. All right. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. All right, then. All this traveling is making me thirsty. See a lot of folks come and go, but none fit your type. Where you come from, stranger? Cause that's the law of the land. You never know when someone's going to stab you in the back. And I like mine upright. Maybe one day, stranger, when you've seen all I've seen, done all I've done, you'll sooner trust a rad scorpion than a new face in the wasteland. 
You've got a sharp eye on you. I take it you like guns, huh? Question is, can you handle more than just a weapon? I mean, you've got to know yourself before you can truly know the gun. So let's see it, stranger. Do you know yourself? Sure thing. What's on your noggin? We're independent folks here. Merchants, gamblers, NCR whores. All of them trade with us and we offer protection against critters and the fiends. You heard me. We don't like those stiff back, clean hand little pussies. New Vegas belongs to the people. The NCR is just a corrupt and bloated monster no better than any other wasteland crawler. We make this land wealthy and we ain't giving it up. They're a bunch of lunatics, so pumped full of chems they don't give a damn about life anymore. Fiends rape, kill, and maim for the hell of it. Vault 3's fiend territory. Those shitheads attack West Side all the time, even making it to the rest of Outer Vegas when they crawl under the sewers. You clean that vermin's nest? Gotta say, we don't see that kind of attitude around here. Good work. The NCR is just a cr What's he? So let's see it, strange. Someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch. Good riddance. That fiend leader got what he fucking deserved. Can I help you with something, stranger? Name's Crandon, stranger. I keep an eye out for trouble around here. Folks that don't belong. Murderers, rapists, extortionists, and everything in between. You know, business as usual in North Vegas, stranger. NCR, did you just crawl out from under a rock? Those folks only care about their business, their people, and their pockets. NCR's order? Don't make me laugh, stranger. We work this land, we own these streets, and we yank up the bad weeds ourselves. Got it? Jules? We've been here for a few years, just looking for a place we can call our own. Life's harsh, but still, it beats the hell out of the desert. We've got numbers, we've got food, and we've got trade. That's progress, stranger. Keep your nose to the ground, stranger, that's what. Mind your own business and let us mind our own. Are we clear? If you got a mind to loot the old H&H &H tools factory, don't even bother. That place is sealed tighter than a rad scorpion's bunghole. Every salvager who tries gets blown up, flattened, or gutted by traps. Then he starts to stink up the town, and we're the ones to clean up the mess. You want to help us out? What makes you think we want you around here, huh? That's the kind of stuff I like to hear, stranger. All right, we could use someone like you. Some squatters decided to take space where they don't belong over by the playground. We'd prefer to keep them off the streets and out of sight. Maybe you could go and talk to them, convince them to see things our way. 
I like your speed, stranger. Let me know when that's done. Later. Piss off. What do you want? Oh, really? And how are you going to make us? Hey, hey, don't worry. I was just kidding. We're going, right, boys? I hear tell you pretty well wiped out the fiends around here. Not bad, not bad. That's right, the... Bye.